Hey guys, it's Jenny here. Today, I want to share with you this simple, natural, glowy makeup look that you can wear on a daily basis for busy days at work or school. Also, I'm excited to show you some of my current favorite K-Beauty daily essentials along the way as well. And guess what? I have a 20% off Olive Young coupon code to share with you guys that you can use to purchase some of the items introduced in the video. Also, I'll be going live and doing a giveaway where you can win some of the products. So if you want to know all about it, keep on watching. I've already gone through the first steps of my skincare, but I wanted to show you guys this brightening serum I've been using and loving by Gouda called Green Tangerine Vita C Dark Spa Serum. This serum is very popular, so I'm sure some of you may have already heard of it. Um, it contains 70% Jeju Green Tangerine Extract that fades dark spots and hyperpigmentation and improves the overall skin tone. It has a gel texture that has a little bit of viscosity to it, but doesn't leave any sticky or heavy residue after absorption. It has a very mild tangerine scent, which is so refreshing. You know how some vitamin C serums could be irritating for some people, but this one has a super gentle formula that's been tested for sensitive skin, so if you're worried that vitamin C might be too harsh and irritating for your skin, I would recommend giving this one a try. And then I'm going to apply a face cream, and the one I'm using here is called Daily Calming Water Cream by My Lab. It contains neuropeptides and hyaluronic acid. It's very, very gentle. Honestly, it's one of the most soothing and gentle creams I've ever used. It's free of harsh or toxic ingredients, goes on so smoothly and gets absorbed very well while providing lasting hydration. Next, I'm going to apply some sunscreen. I have Round Lab Birch Juice Moisturizing Sun Cream here. This is a beautiful sunscreen that's gentle, hydrating, easy to apply, and fast absorbing. Also, no white cast or stickiness. It's reef safe as well. By the way, some of you might be aware that there was a whole ordeal about some K-Beauty sunscreen products. Round Lab has since renewed the sunscreen and retested the product to confirm its SPF level, so no need to worry about that anymore. Now with base makeup, I'm going to use Clio's new cushion called Kill Cover Glow Fitting Cushion. This cushion has a glowy finish and a smudge resistant formula, which is great for everyday mask wearing. I love dewy base makeup, but foundations and cushions that provide that type of finish usually are easy to move and smudge. Given that, I'm impressed by how well this cushion sets on the skin. It provides medium coverage, I would say, and it goes on pretty thin, but you can build up the coverage if needed with multiple layers. I usually like just a thin, even layer to make it look natural, not cakey. Now I'm going in with a concealer called Long Lasting Tip Concealer Fixing Fit Version by Luna to spot conceal some blemishes and dark or red areas. We're going for a natural look, so I'm going to make sure to not use too much concealer. We want a small amount to spot conceal. Because we are going for a very simple, no makeup makeup look, I'm going minimal on the eyes. I'm using this Sugar Lit Cream Shadow by Holika Holika. I'm putting some on my lid and spreading it out using my finger. Super easy, right? It's a beautiful rose peach color with a little bit of gold and silver glitter. So next, I'm skipping the eyeliner part altogether, but we definitely cannot skip the mascara part. I'm going to use this mascara by Clio called Kill Lash Superproof Mascara in the lengthening and curling version. This mascara is a cult favorite, and I also really like the formula, it did not disappoint. Because I have naturally straight lashes, after a long day, my lashes do get straighter and weigh down a lot. But I find that with this mascara, the curl lasts the whole day, which is pretty amazing. It's sweat proof, so I would definitely recommend using a lip and eye remover to remove it. So 
I've been super into fluffy, feathery, lifted brows, so I'm using a brow gel to lift the brow hair strands and add some volume. So to do that, I'm using the Signature Brow Shaper by Hints here. Brushing my brows up with this brow shaper adds volume, sets the brow hair in place the way I want, and holds it. And then I'm going in with the Peripera Speedy Skinny Brow Pencil, one of my all-time favorite affordable brow pencils, to fill in some sparse areas and clean up the shape further. Now let's add more definition to the face. I'm using Misha's Cotton Contour in Smoked Hazel to contour the eye crease and the nose area. No heavy contouring here, just adding subtle contouring to bring out the features just a little bit. Now let's do the hairline and jawline using the Roman Better Than Shape Contour Powder. Brush lightly over the hairline, temples, and the jawline. As for blush, I'm using the Amuse Cream Cheeks in Shimmer Pomelo. I'm applying it on the apples of the cheeks and using my finger to spread it. It adds such a pretty flush to the cheeks and youthfulness to the overall look. For the highlighter part, I'm using the Clio Prism Highlighter Duo in Cream Fizz, which is a warm champagne shimmer. I'm applying the shimmer one to the nose bridge between my eyes and a little bit at the tip of my nose and on the cheeks close to my eyes right above the blush. And then I'm using a little bit of the pearl one to the middle part of my eyelid. I'm going to use one of my favorite tints by Etude House, Fixing Tint in Analog Rose. Some of you probably already know I love this tint so much. I keep reaching for it, especially since I still have to wear a mask every day. I'm going to put a little bit focusing on the inner parts of the lips, spreading it outwards, pressing my lips together, and using my fingers to further blend and blur out the edges. Then I'm going to wait a little bit for the product to dry and set in place. Such a nice warm rose shade that puts the look together nicely, brightens up the complexion, and is easy to wear on a daily. I have a full swatches and review video on the whole Fixing Tint collection, so if you're interested in seeing the rest of the shades, I would recommend checking it out. Okay guys, this is the finished look, an easy everyday makeup look that accentuates your natural glow. Like I mentioned in the intro, you can get 20% off on the Olive Young Global site using my code towards these products. And I'll be going live on YouTube to do a fun giveaway and chat with you guys, so please come join and win some of these products if you're free. I'll leave all the dates including my coupon code and the live streaming time in the description below. Thanks so much for watching you guys and hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in my next. Bye!